Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, if I sound a little sniffly, please excuse me. I think I have a little bit of a cold because of the weather change. So if I sound weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to continue with our Descendants tutorial series and we're going to go ahead and do my favorite, which is Carlos. So let's go ahead and draw Carlos from Descendants Wicked World. So what we're going to do first, since this is almost like a front view of his face, I'm going to go ahead and draw the top of his head up here. Bring down this side. So this is the side of his face. And bring down this side. And I'm kind of cocking his head off to the side just a little bit because his head is just tilted a little bit and define where my eye line's gonna go. And then I wanna go ahead and part the middle of his face. That doesn't mean I'm gonna put my nose like right there. I'm going to bring down his nose just a little bit. Kind of just gonna lay things out where they're supposed to go. So I have one eye right here. And it takes a little bit up of the majority of his face and then I'll eye over here and it takes up this part of the majority of his face. But his eyes are almost a little bit boxy so I'm kind of like flattening out the bottoms. Bringing up the tops. Just kind of want to lay out where his mouth is going to go just in case I need to extend his chin just a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and just make that top lip line. And with the top lip line, I'm going to curve upward just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on the top. Kind of make this nice, a little bit thicker on top of that top eyelash line. Bring down this side. And then I'm going to make that nice and thick at the bottom and bring down the side of this, this eyelid. And then I'm going to make this nice and thick at the top over here. Bring down this side, jump over here and bring down the side. Curve off the bottom with a thick eyelash line. Right, so then I need to go ahead and place his pupils and irises. So I'm going to go ahead and place one pupil iris here and then one pupil iris here. Just make sure that the same size, I always struggle with this, just trying to make the eyes look more equal. Even if this is a full frontal view, there's still some things that are a bit different, but you just never know. So I'm going to put a shine right here and then a shine right here in his eye. And then I'm going to jump in, give him that pupil jump over here, give him his pupil as well. I'm gonna make his iris is a little bit darker, darker on top and then lighter at the bottom. Like everything's kind of blending in just a little bit. And he has green eyes. and give one arched eyebrow here. Kind of getting a little bit close to the side of his face. And then I'm gonna jump over here. Arched eyebrow, getting a little close to the side of his face. So I'm going to jump off to the side of his nose and bring down this side going inwards. Bring this inward and then go down here. Kind of give him a little bit of a nostril right here and then bring up this side. So we have a nose flap, a nostril, this is kind of going inwards, and then this we have a, a nostril flap, whatever, that part of the nose over there. 
And then I got kind of a little bit of a nose ridge, his nose ridge just going upwards, kind of turn inwards just a little bit, just give it that little bit of a hint. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the, his mouth and I'm gonna give him his dimples. So we wanna keep this overall shape of it going upwards and the smile. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect down below. So I'm gonna kind of bring in this side of his lip and this side of his lip and round off this. Go ahead and give him a teeth line at the very top inside of his mouth and go ahead and color inside of his mouth. And then I'm going to jump down at his lower lip and kind of line that lower half. Shape up his face a little bit more so he has a little bit sharper cheekbones and then a more squarish looking chin. So I'm going to go ahead and square that off and sharpen his cheekbones just a little bit off to the side. Alright, so I'd like to go ahead and give him his ears at least. So we're going to go off to the side of one eye, give him one ear here, and then jump over here and give him his ear as well. Now the one thing that we need to do is we need to go back. I still kept a little bit of my imaginary middle line. I'm going to go ahead and give him a widow's peak. So this is the part to his hair. So I'm going to go ahead and square off his hairline. So I'm going to go up, over, and bring this down up, over, bring it down. Go ahead and cap the height where I think it needs to go. So I'm gonna go about that high. Cause I don't wanna go too crazy with his hair. So I'm gonna say it needs to be about this high. And I'm just gonna draw an imaginary line showing where I need all my spikes to be on Carlos's head. So I'm just gonna bring this down, just kind of like mirroring where it's gonna be. And it's gonna go kind of in front of his ears. So we just, don't get too carried away. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna start in the middle with that middle spike, and I'm gonna go out with this spike right here, and then this spike's gonna come down. So I got a big spike here, and then one's coming down into his face, and then one's kinda of jumping over in front of this hairline over here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and make the first <laughs> layer of spikes. <laughs> Kind of put them all together. Kind of looks like grass almost. All right, the main thing that's going to make Carlos Carlos's hair is to make his roots at the bottom of his hair nice and dark because he has white, like the top of his hair is white, but the roots are super black. So we're gonna go around and just kind of line our first layer of spikes as much as we can. Another thing that gives Carlos like a huge awesome feature is his freckles. So let's go ahead and give him freckles all over his face. He has them all over his forehead and his nose and his cheeks. It's he's adorable. <laughs> And then what I like to do is I do want to go ahead and give him some lines in his ears. So I'm going to go ahead and give him his earlobes. 
bring down his neck. So I'm going to go on each side of his chin. And remember how I said his head's a little bit tilted to the side. So that's where we're going to crink one side of his neck and make this side a little bit more straighter. And draw through his neck just to give me that good guideline of where I want his collar of fur to go because his whole entire collar is made up of fur. So I'm gonna make a line here at the side of his neck and then I'm gonna make a line over here at the side of his neck. Bring this over, we have this side and then we have this side. And kind to, to kind of give it a little bit of a furry touch, I'm just gonna make like these little squiggly lines and I can kind of make that a little furry too. So I'm gonna go ahead, give him a neckline to his t-shirt, there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bring down this part of his jacket, which looks kind of like a vest, but it's not. So I'm gonna bring down this jacket and then we have his sleeve, which is red. So we have this part of his jacket, bring it down, bring down this side. This goes off to the side and then down and then we have another sleeve to his jacket. And then I'm going to go ahead make a lapel of the jacket over here. Make the lapel of the jacket here. Make a zipper on this side and then a zipper on this side. Here everything's flowing with each other. And then we have a piece of this jean jacket going off to this side. And the same over here, bring it over off to the side. We have one zipper that's kind of random, but going up that vest part. And then we have another random zipper that's over here. So go ahead, I'm gonna draw like the end to the zipper and the zipper here, and then it goes like that. And then this goes like this. All the random zippers. Now the only thing about his outfit is this whole side is black. His t-shirt's black, but his sleeves are red. And this side is white. Let's shade a couple of things. I'd like to shade his nose ridge a little bit underneath his eyebrow, above his eyelid. Kind of shade over here too. Same place. And a little bit off to the side, just giving him a little bit of color of rosy cheeks. And there we are, there's a cute little tutorial on Carlos, Carilla DeVille's son from Disney's Descendants, Wicked World. He's probably my favorite of the main four, but Harry Hook is definitely my favorite. <laughs> but yes guys, leave in the comments down below if you want to go ahead and draw Jay, or if you want to move on to something else. I hope you all have a most wonderful day, and I will see you all later. Bye!